led to the Baja 400. We chased the class 10 car, hoping to get it to the finish line, but we ran into some issues pretty early on. No brake pedal whatsoever. Every week, we find some form of racing or adventure and bring those stories to you. I'm Max. I'm Sean. And I'm Brian. Welcome to AGM. Apparently, it was Mexican Independence Day. So we missed the car going through tech. So now we pick up our story at the house. Food time. The most amazing food. It sounds yeah. amazing though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever this is. Hey, you're only supposed to get one. What? I gotta go. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Right what are you doing here, tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. just going along yeah. with it. Yeah. Film guys, it. Okay, guys, cool. Film uh, it. What about you? you guys, what are you doing? I'm going to get here. Just film some stuff tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Blake, are you excited? So excited. Oh. We got to say it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Yeah, I have teenage girls. I'm so excited. <laughs> Should we close this out? Or? Yeah, I think it's time. All right, Sean, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. See you tomorrow morning. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Negros. Yeah. In record time, actually. So we got a little, we got a little extra time to hang out. But the good news, the good news is now we get to watch all the Trophy Truck Boys and every other class as we wait for uh, Class 10 car to come by. says that, uh, and I don't know if you heard it on the on the sap, but that the pads are kicking back and he's having to constantly pump brakes like uh, bearings loose. I think he's worried about how tight the cars are. As long as he doesn't feel a loose wheel. Brian, where are we headed right now? Now we're headed down to K77 where they're going to pop back out on the highway. Um, at that point, they are going to come in. We're going to lift up the front and the rear of the car, see if we can find some loose wheel bearings um, or any other obvious leaks or issues causing the brake issue that's uh, that's slowing them down at the moment. Uh, are you trying to get over it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Check brake fluid, brake lines, and stuff like that to see if there's any leaks. We're having issues with the brakes. So uh, we're about to find out right now uh, what's going on. Check all the tires, look for more fluid, look for other issues that we might not know about. Do you see any grease on that side or anything? 
Brakes are boiling, boiling. Do you have any pedal right now if you step down slowly? Stop! Good fine. That's all that's all fucking air there. No, that I have that one down by his switch over now. We're gonna go for your preferred by BFG, we'll let yeah, you know. And go for that, okay? It was a little rough. Yeah. We didn't quite find the issue, and then we found the issue, or at least we hope we found the issue. And we're hoping that issue is just a loose fitting and a caliper on the right rear. Pulled that off, and we got nothing but air and fucking smoke out of that corner, so. Uh, we think we found it, bled the brakes, cleaned all the fluid out, yeah. checked the other side, checked the front, and we'll see what we got. Please. Let's do it! And now we're headed down to roughly race mile 140, which is just past Valley T. The whole program is kind of switched from, uh, let's put this thing out front, try to get it on the box, to just a clean run and get to the finish. Brakes are better. Brakes are better. You guys get that? Brakes feel better than they are there. Copy that. Brakes are better. If you guys do not need us, we are going to skip the visual at race mile 100 and go straight to the fuel pit. You'll just be on the road here. Okay. Just make sure you don't get run over. Yep. Yeah. When they come in, you come behind and you'll just hang out on the extinguisher. We're about two and a half miles outside of Valley T. We're one half mile exactly past BFG pits. Okay, half mile past BFG. a little bit too big to put that high up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> What sound was it again? I need to. Yeah, what was it? What was it? Kind of like a, it was like a, oh, oh. <laughs> Now we're going to hang out for a bit because they are entering no man's land. Right. That way if there's any issues, we're going to send Rich and his rafter. He doesn't know this yet, but we're going to send him in to fix it. Yeah. Uh, if all goes well, um, you guys are going to jump in the Raptor. You're going to hit the cutover road here. It's going to take you to the coast. You're going to pick them up there, but I'm not going to see you until the finish because we're going to hit Ojos, which is where the cars come back to after they get back off the coast. Then they kind of reverse and go back in what we saw earlier through Ojos into the finish, and that's where we all meet up for a party. Right. Let's do it! Let's do it! Yeah! Valley Tea. Valley Tea? Queso tacos. All right, we just finished tacos. Now we're heading to the crossover road. We're in Rich's Raptor now. We transferred vehicles. We don't know if it's passable. Look at this all washed out Hopefully over here. Like yeah, I hope it's not like that. Goal's just to get there. 
boys on the other side. Rock on, bro. Quick, how excited are you? Bye, Brian. <laughs> Bye. You're at the finish line. Here we go. Here we go. Just four dudes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need to pay the water. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke way too soon. Oh, no. <laughs> hey! Water down there? Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh shit. This oh. is where it washed away. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, it tore up the fucking sewer. Dude, that's crazy. Bridge, where are we at? Uh, no okay. man's land right here. Halfway through? Halfway through, uh. A little over half? So, like, looked at the GPS, and I think we're like a little bit halfway. Sean and I would film this whole thing, but it's kind of shaky. Yeah. So, all right, so we'll update you later. All right. Martin! How you doing? Excellent. How was it? Long day, little uh, brake type situation that you saw early on. Yep. Got that fixed, got that figured out, and uh, got the car in one piece to Mark. Too bad we had to spend some time fixing it, but yeah. all good. Mark uh, is away from our 285, we're at 290, he should be coming by here any minute. Tell us your favorite racer in Baja. Hit the checkered flag in the bottom right corner to subscribe. And up next is Leia Rossler Story Time. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Don't look back too much. You probably got a lot of butt back there. <laughs>